Good morning, boys and girls. It's our science experiment, and you're going to say, <laughs> we've been doing a lot of experiments this week. Okay? Yes. This one you're going to like, because this one is going to bring some fizzle to your whistle. Uh, find that in the dictionary. I can't do that right now. Well, for this experiment, we will need plastic cups. They could be smaller. It doesn't have to be big like mine. But because I don't want to make a mess, I'm going to put it on my green plate. Okay? You're also going to need some baking soda. You can get this at the supermarket in the kitchen. Um, the baking section usually has baking soda. And some people like have bodegas, they have them too. You will also need some food coloring. I'm going to use some neon colors today. And the other one that you're going to need is called vinegar. I brought in some apple cider vinegar and some red wine vinegar. You can use white vinegar as well. Well, let's get to it. So I'm going to put my camera facing down to the plates so that you can see what we're going to do. You're also going to need a spoon. I have a teaspoon because I want to be able to have enough baking soda for everything. So, the first thing you put in your cup is baking soda. Baking soda looks like sugar, but it's not sugar, okay? It is not sugar, okay? It's like a powder. Maybe something like you say flour, okay? So, I only put like three cups, three teaspoons of it. You can put more, you can fill it up to the top if you want. By all means, go with your instinct. And this is gonna be fun. These are things that you can get in the kitchen. So this is not something that you have to run and get something and buy it at the Dollar Tree unless you don't have baking soda or unless you don't have vinegar or you have to go to the supermarket and get some um, food coloring. So, after you put in your baking soda inside the cup, you pick the colors you want to use for your experiment. So I'm gonna put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, drops of food coloring of purple and since some of you like pink I'm gonna put pink so I'm gonna put one two three four five six seven and for those who like a neon blue I'm gonna use neon blue one two three four five six and seven all right now that I have the baking soda in the cup, now that I have the food coloring in the cup, the spoon, I'm going to use it to mix. Now, you may not have to mix that much, so I'm going to mix only one, just to see what happens. And I'm not going to mix two of them. So that's how I'm going to control this experiment. One I'm going to mix, which is the pink one, but the blue and the blue and the purple I'm going to um, leave it like it is. So I'm going to face the pink one because with the pink one I'm going to use uh, apple cider vinegar and watch what happens when you put the vinegar in. Do you see that? You can continue to put because I didn't put a lot. But do you see what's happening? That is called fizzle. That's called what, boys and girls? Fizzle. So let's do it with the blue one, but I'm going to use the red wine vinegar. Red wine vinegar. Oh, look at that blue. Oh, 
I love it. Now I'm going to take apple cider and use it for the purple. You see? I want this one to fizzle again. Well, then I put more. See? Oh my god, I spilled it! It's still in the plate, so it's not a mess. The mess is in the plate. That is so cool, yes. Now, because this is vinegar, you don't drink it. Okay, do not do that. But watch it go overflowing the cup. Look at this one. Isn't that amazing? And the pink one, even though you see that it has vinegar, I can still pour more to make it fizzle because it still has baking soda so did you like my experiment <laughs> I hope you did this is fun and this is something that parents you can keep it in a plate and it won't make a mess because then what I do when I finish this video I take this to the kitchen I drain all the vinegar and wash the cups or throw them away and that's it. Voila. So, if you want to make this experiment, which is called Rainbow Fizzle, you're going to need food coloring. It could be any color. You're going to need baking soda. You can get it at the Dollar Tree. And you're going to need some vinegar. It could be white vinegar, apple excuse me, apple cider vinegar or red wine. And always carry a spoon, just in case, because you need to control the proportions of your experiment. And when I mean that, what I mean is how much of the baking soda you put in here. Well, that is it with my experiment for today for Pre-K 102. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed, please subscribe to my videos on YouTube for kids. Okay.